All right, focus crew, welcome back to part three of the series of uh, the D23 to D25 swap. And today, yes, we have the, uh, the hoist up here and uh, we're actually going to be, uh, I'm gonna see about dropping the engine out the bottom and maybe pulling it out the top. Uh, I'll have to see, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but out the bottom does seem easy. I'll just have to jack the car up some more so that I could clear everything through um, when I set it on top of the uh, on top of the uh, the hoist here uh, to move everything uh, to clear up under the car and get it out of the way. I do have a man-made uh, four-wheel dolly. And we'll see if that works. I mean, it, it held up, it held the engine on its own, but not with the transmission. The transmission only weighs like an extra hundred pounds, so I should be okay. And right now, I have three fourths ton on it, so that's more than enough. That more than the weight that this engine uh, weighs, that this thing should be able to, to tow. So, without further ado, let's get on with the intro. Stay tuned. Bye. 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 How many times have I removed this thing in the uh, in the past few episodes? Too many. And like we're gonna need to put some RTV under that to make a gasket because it was leaking out the top. As you can see. All right, shift the cables now removed. Um, I'm gonna go over here. Sorry to the passenger side and I'll work on removing these uh, passenger side uh, mounts. Look at this. 
this engine mount was having its last leg. This thing just came apart, literally in my hand. You, you did well for your 16 to 17 years of service, but it's time to rest. All right, so there it is. Look at the engine, it's spinning. Woo, woo, this is cool. Back it on up. So I'm checking to make sure I don't have any wires or anything still attached. And it looks like looks like I'm free and in the clear to continue. You go over here, make sure there's no wires still attached or getting caught on or anything like that. And there is. Set this down. Got Get that out of the way. Make sure that's out of the way. Make sure that is out of the way. I think we are good now. All right. So I'm going to set this thing down on the legs. Careful, please. Yeah, engine is on the stand. Whew. I'm going to clap for myself. So that is awesome. That is so awesome that I am blessed to be able to make it to this step without any schooling, without going to UTI, but to be able to put together YouTube research, friends, online forums, risk and failure, neglect, <laughs> Uh, and just my own intellect, uh, I was able to do this. And if I'm able to do it, I know this is a cliche, but if I'm able to do this, you are able to do this at home. Uh, it's If you've watched Teardown 1 and 2, yeah, there's a lot of annoying things in this car uh, and annoying places that Ford put things like the power steering pump. This is probably the second worst thing they could have done with a with a nut right up under uh, where that hose is. The 18 millimeter nuts, ridiculous. Uh, and the axles and the bell housing for the axles, absolutely maddening. 
But what I can tell you is that if you get over all of those hurdles, this is this is the the fruit of the labor. And I'm glad that I got to be the one to share with you uh, this on this channel. Unfocused hands, you saw this. Anyway, uh, what's next is to uh, get the engine completely out. I'm gonna jack up the car high enough more to clear this out completely. I need to get all these bolts and stuff out of the way. And uh, it's gonna be painting the inside of this trim here. Uh, the, in the bay is gonna be black. Uh, I'm gonna go with a darker gray than what I had here. Uh, or maybe like a lighter, excuse me, a lighter gray than what I had here. More like more like these focus stealth gray. Uh, I'm gonna go with that uh, than, than this gray. I like this gray, but I was looking for something a little bit more, a little bit more greyhoundish, because I've named this car the Greyhound. Not bad at all. So there it is. And uh, this was once a 2.3, now will be a 2.5. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, um, I, I have this donation uh, link now. You can hit me up for donations that will, will specifically be used for building this car and, and that car and upgrading that car. Uh, if you would like to donate, uh, I would appreciate it. You don't have to, there's no pressure to do so, but it definitely will help, uh, lessen the burden that it is, uh, building, uh, cars and the cost. Um, uh, but yeah, you know, I really would appreciate it and, you know, we made it here. So, you know, congratulations to everybody that's stuck with me this long. This is for you and, uh, that engine over there. Uh, uh th that's for me. So see you soon. Peace.